You were playing in plat. Yes. Uh, the biggest issue a lot of people have in, in this in this sort of SR exactly. is oh, ability management. Like okay. generally, th th it's very easy. And, and by this by this stage in the game, so you have a decent amount of experience and play time. You can understand where you should be in the fight with your team as a tank, right? Being mm -hmm. you know, sort of at the front lines and helping out. But ability usage ends up being what uh, a lot of people struggle with. So, anyways, just play the game. And hey, pretend I'm not here, and we'll see what best. we can do. Nice. Okay, um, honestly, not bad. <laughs> so, Thanks. what I think, judging just from this, and it's hard to tell from just one game, but uh, the biggest mistakes, or, or rather, I, I wouldn't even call it mistakes, but the biggest things you could improve on, being more aggressive as far as your positioning with your team. Your ability usage wasn't bad. Um, you are... So a, a lot of the time people this rank are struggling with ability management, like I said, and that usually means that they're using abilities all the time and for no real value. They're just going all over the place, flying all over the place, matrixing everything and not doing much. Um, you, on the other hand, are using abilities very conservatively. Um, and it looks like you have a decent understanding of like when and how to use your abilities, but you're not be able to get as much value out of the rest of D.Va's kit, meaning her her just general damage. Go ahead, Q again. Didn't even dawn on me. What? I'll let you know. Round All right. Well, capture. just keep playing. We'll continue the analysis. Uh, basically, play more forward, wherever the front okay. line is. All right. But not at the cost of the thrust. No. Okay. Right. Okay. Your team made that really hard because yeah. they're all DPS, you're solo tanking, and they just scattered <laughs> all, all across the map, and then you're like, where you go? Yeah. yeah. So you just gotta. Ran, you know, I don't know. The, you you want to. So when you can't tell where your team is, you go to the front of the fight and play as. Uh, so. You, you basically on your own are going to be the front line, and you have to be the one to uh, set the fight. Your, your team's going to fight around you. So you did the right thing by walking in, right? And you had your boost, but you didn't get out quickly enough. You had to realize when your team really isn't with you there, and then you got to boost away and try and regroup with them. Like right now is not a time to 100% go in. 
Like, if you feel like you can get a kill, maybe, but if that kill costs you your mech... Yeah. 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 A little more exactly focused, they'll, yeah. they'll they'll group up better and they're not going to run stupid comps like this the big thing is just realizing when you are winning the fight and when you are losing the fight as soon as you are losing the fight the longer you stay in there after that point the more you're just feeding the enemy team their ults right okay so there was a like early on in that fight i could tell it was already lost but everyone continued fighting at the very least you should get out but yeah the, the, your team's already going in though um, and then well, this I late in the game, up, so maybe, yeah. I mean, oh, I guess well, it, it doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to. Unfortunately, I'm trying to listen to you. I know exactly. Yeah, so don't tough. worry about listening to me. Yeah. Um, just just Boy. play. Okay. You're honestly not doing a horrible job. This team was very hard to coordinate anything with, but let's yeah. see what happens here. I also have a couple of just general questions about. Of course, like, at any point, things. ask all okay. the questions you want. Okay, for example, like with Hanamira point one, right? Mm -hmm. So we got it very quick, and I was out of mech, and you probably know what I'm going to ask. So they're capping the point. Should I jump off? Nope. Okay, so I should stay there as Baby Diva. Don't. If you don't if you literally me. lose your mech right as you are starting to cap the point, and there's no one around to shoot at, okay, yeah. maybe or just. Okay. But. You already had like 30-40% of your ultimate charge. By the time it caps, you'd have 60% even without shooting at anyone. And then while you're walking in, you can usually get some poke damage. Um, then pull your mech in. That's okay because generally a first push is not always a, a sure thing anyways. And you can do a dry push. Uh, but um, it's it, it depends and it's kind of a snap decision you have to make. Why am I spectating Widow? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, like you, you're way too far back right now. If it, th the only time you should be using your boost are to get a kill or get with your team. Or to get with your team. Okay. Yeah. They're all over the place. Is... Or get, yeah. There, there was the get a kill moment. You saw it. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay, your team's up front. You might want to move up with them. Now what about this Ferris? Do you chase Ferris with thrust? So, there's there's a lot of times where you can kind of just ignore her, like now, yeah. and yeah. it kind of works out because you have decent healing from your your supports here. Yeah. Does deep can fall up damage with a bunny blaster? Nope. So as long as you want. Oh, so I noticed this before too. You call in your mech where the enemy team can still see you. If the road dog decides to hook you there, you just lost your ult. You might as well be dead. All right, good advice. So I actually would have dropped the the ult yep. there because the ho hog is just dead to it. I'm glad you didn't use your ult there. So in this kind of situation, oh, you might as well die. Lost. No sense. You, it, it, just die, you well, yeah. I mean, uh, if your team gets a pick here, mm, yeah, you. The, the sooner you die there, the better. Yeah. Like, <laughs> wow, your sim got sim, the the mercy and the Pharah. Wow. <laughs> okay, if someone's low, you should be like getting in on them. Now that she's back towards the team, you don't do that. When she's off at an angle, you know, away from yeah, the main bulk of the team. Okay. Now you should be looking for... for... Well, I don't want to influence your play too much. Just keep keep doing what you're doing. Now when you... So whenever you back up... Right? Whenever you retreat... Yeah. Okay, it's yeah. another instance pulling yeah, in your mech in the front of the enemy team. Um, when, when you're going to retreat, don't retreat so that you're off on your own. Retreat towards your team so they can still support you. Good, good you pulled off point. to the left side. Yeah. There's nothing your team can do then there. Yeah, that's a good point. So every now I your team's in there. You should go in there. All right. They weren't losing. You see, and you're getting kills. If your team is in the fight, you should just go. See, it looked lost to me. I have to just. <laughs> Thank you.
See, that, yeah, that was interesting. I saw, I saw three dead people thinking, this is lost. And you saw that and said, no, you're winning. And I, well, you have I to realize how many of the enemy team were dead also, which was quite a few. You should be boosting in. You need to get on the fight. You can't afford to just wait. Okay. Yeah, but you also have to be oh, mindful when they have a Roadhog. You don't <laughs> boost to uh, near the well. You boost. Uh, I have a very cautious boost finger on this one for that reason. Um, I have fallen in that pit so many times okay. to hogs. Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily have pushed into the enemy team there when you're kind of alone. So I think you're starting to see where the issues are, right? It's it's aggression or it's not enough aggression. It's, mm -hmm. it it's, it it's right? decision-making. Like, you have the yeah. toolkit for it. You're just making okay. not optimal decisions about where to be going. And, yeah, so basically game sense. When you're in the fight, you're doing mostly fine.